Hi everyone, this is Jim Gillis with Win My Vote, and today's video is a basic introduction to Win My Vote, uh, what it is and how it works. So what you're looking at here is the ballot, uh, and this is the existing site uh, right now. So I'll walk you through some PowerPoints. We have some upgrades to the candidate profile as well as the uh, ballot uh, that we'll, uh, we'll use for this uh, video. Um, so on the home page here, uh, when a uh, user signs up, they'll choose between uh, signing up as a voter or a candidate. Um, so in this one, we'll use a voter's perspective. So they'll click on voter, they'll click here, and if they sign up with social media, it auto-populate their form. Um, if not, they can just use an email address. Uh, and then they'll put their zip code in there. And then the zip code will place them in specific voting districts, like congressional district, state senate district, etc. And if they if it's not an exact hit, they can click on these arrows over here and it'll give them an either or. So, for example, uh, if their zip code is between uh, or includes both District 7 and 8, they can click on here and choose that. If they don't know which district they're in, they can click on this little question mark, which will give them you know a little map. It sends them to a, an official uh, site that will give them a, a map if they want to type in their full home address or whatever they want to do. Um, so with that, they can then click here, and now they can choose a party here. It's a little drop down, uh, and they can choose one of those. And for this one, we'll just do independent, um, and that's it. And then they'll end up getting their ballot. Uh, so now they're looking at their upcoming ballot with all of the races and all of the candidates. Um, and the first step is they can add all trusted sources. Um, and these are groups and organizations and individuals that they trust that they want to see on their ballot. So if I belong to a union or a group or some organization um, and I know that they advocate for candidates or propositions, I'll select them as a trusted source. So for example, I'll click here and let's say I've been, I was here before and I selected all of these or they sent me emails or whatever it may be uh, and now I want to look through a couple more. So I can do that and I can also search for trusted sources. So I have a friend who's very uh, much into politics, and so I type her name in there, and here she is, and I can just add her, or let's say if I wanted to look at her ballot and check out, you know, who she's voting for, who she's um, endorsing. Um, I can do that, and I can see here that uh, Tulsi Gabbard, you know, she's uh, endorsing Tulsi Gabbard, and let's see if I can hide that thing, um, and I click down here, and I can watch a video. And if I agree with her, then I can just simply select here and then my ballot will be updated. Um, I can then go you know, back to my ballot and I see that, okay, you know, we've agreed on that. And then maybe I change my mind and say, you know what, I should go through here and check out some other candidates before I make that decision. So I do that and now I can look at the candidate profiles and I can scroll through each one of them. And I can then, you know, scroll down and look at issue statements, endorsements. So I go through here, and this looks good. And now I'm up here at endorsements, and I want to see all the groups and organizations that are endorsing her. And I can click there, and I can watch videos of them. And I like Joe Rogan, so I wanted to, you know, maybe I listened to his entire interview with Tulsi Gabbard. And now I'm convinced, and I favorite her, I can share on social media, and then when I go back to my ballot, you know, she's favorited again. Uh, and then I start going through my ballot and I'm favoriting, you know, each one of the candidates. I can also go up to propositions and click on propositions and I can learn, you know, about each one of the propositions. So I could read the actual language and then I can see groups and organizations and individuals that are supporting and opposing this proposition. So these are all the yes votes, these are all the no votes. So I go down here and I watch the video and my friend Sarah is really into uh, recycling and the environment and I know that she does a lot of research on this stuff. So I you know, watch her video and I agree with her that I should vote yes on this proposition. So I do that and then when I go back to my ballot you'll see that it's nice and prominent here. I'm going to be voting yes. Um, one quick thing about how the groups work. They, wor they work in two different ways. The first way is a trusted source. Um, so I'll show you that on the live site. So this is the live site here. And as a trusted source, as I 
I showed you earlier, when I go through the candidate uh, profiles and I click on endorsements, right, and I get to see all of the endorsements, um, I can, you know, click right on there and the video plays. And again, this works for just individuals. Hillary Clinton. I will be voting for Hillary Clinton. I avoid talking politics on this channel. You know, and this is a good example of someone that you know feels strongly about endorsing a candidate, um, but at the same time, you know, wouldn't go out and spend the money, um, you know, to compete with other huge endorsements. Um, but would send that out to, you know, all of his users, let's say, on his YouTube channel. You know, this way I can hear it, and when I do hear it, I can immediately take action, and I can favorite this candidate, and then when I go back to my ballot, you know, that candidate is favorited. So that's one way um, that uh, the groups or organizations um, work as a trusted source. Uh, the other way... Like that. Uh, the other way is just through their ballot. So, and again, this is kind of the new look, the new page, um, would be having their own ballot. They can go through it real quickly, just like I went through that ballot and favor it and endorse and you know do everything right there on their ballot. And then they can feature their ballot the same way they would feature a voter guide. So now this acts, acts as a voter guide for the group and I can visit their group page and I can see all the people that they are endorsing. Uh, and let's say, I say, great, I agree, and now my ballot is updated. Um, I can also say vote like this group. Let's say if I really trust to them and I go through and, and I say, this is great, I want to do that, I simply click on this and all of the uh, candidates are now favorited on my ballot, as well as all of the propositions. They're all now selected yes or no on each one of them. When I go to my site, I mean, excuse me, when I go back to my ballot, I can click on the propositions and you can see that these are all, you know, here. Um, now, keep in mind, I can also change them. I can go up and say, you know what, I've looked into this one and I've decided I'm going to vote no on that. Um, and that's easy enough to, you know, to keep changing and, and going on. Um, so now let's say it's the day before the election or the day of the election. I can click here uh, and just see all of my favorites. So it's really easy for me to look on a cell phone or to print it out. Um, and then I can find my polling place. I click here and it will give me my polling place with, you know, turn by turn directions, uh, the hours of the polling place. And then I can, you know, grab my cell phone and head to the polling place. Um, so that's kind of, you know, the, the way that the user interacts with it. Um, I'd be happy to, uh, to talk with, with anyone, demo the site. Uh, and we will be doing another video a little bit more about how uh, the groups and organizations and trusted sources work um, and how they're able to go through their own ballots real quickly. Um, thanks a lot.